In this video, you will see how to carry out a small service on a DT Swiss one piece magnesium fork. Before we can start, we must deflate the air chamber entirely. It is best to use the back side of the valve cap for this. Now we can start dismounting the lowers. We place the fork slightly upwards in the stand and unscrew the lower on both sides. Here we can use a long 4 millimeter Allen key. Because it is a left hand thread, we must turn clockwise and screw both screws until they are fully loose. To slide out the lowers, we place the fork in a downward position. They should come off easily from the upper unit. Pull off the steel spring with the fingers. Now we can remove the foam rings from the under of the main seals. The foam rings must be replaced on every service. Next we can remove the main seals. It's best to use the tire lever. Main seals should be replaced at least once a year. If the seals are worn out or damaged, they should be replaced. After cleaning the lowers, we have to carefully degrease the seat of the main seals before we can place the new ones. We recommend using Swiss Clean degreaser. In any case, no aggressive degreaser or cleaner should be used. The new main seals are pressed in using the DT main seal mounting tool. Put the main seal over the punch and slide it all the way back. Now we can place them on the lowers and force them down until they are flush. In the next step, we will fit the previously DT Swiss lube fluid soaked foam rings below the main seals. Take care to mount the foam rings correctly. Use your fingers to push them below the main seals and make sure they are not twisted.
After this step, we have to give the main seals a bit of time to settle into the lowers. To remove the small ring, it is best to carefully pry it out with a scribber or similar tool. Remove the small ring and take care not to scratch the piston rod of the spring. Move the fork slowly downwards before pulling out the spring from the upper. Push down the air valve while pulling out the spring. That way it comes out easily. Clean the upper, inner, and outer surface carefully with a textile cloth. Paper towels are not recommended. They leave small fibers and can easily lead to air leak. Excessive oil is drained into the oil box below. Fill the syringe with two millimeters of DT Swiss lube fluid and inject it into the upper tube. After cleaning the spring, it must be greased generously with slick honey. Don't forget to grease the quadring on the outer surface of the air chamber plug, but be careful not to block the air channels on the face side. When mounting the spring, you should push down the air valve again. This will help to push the spring into the upper tube. The spring is secured by the smally ring. Slightly spread apart the smally ring and mount it into the groove. Check if the smally ring fits correctly. Try to push out the spring a couple of times to see if the smally ring sits correctly. We can now mount the lowers again. First, we push the two small coil springs over the upper tubes. Next, carefully slide the lowers onto the upper. Make sure not to damage or to trap the main seals when sliding the lowers on. After pushing the lowers on approximately one to two centimeters, we can inject seven milliliters of DT Swiss factory oil on both sides of the lowers. The fork should be in slight upward position, allowing the oil to run down slowly into the lowers. After a few seconds, we move the fork a bit further upwards to force the oil further towards the main seals. The lowers must be pushed onto the upper by hand so you can catch the thread on the damper side first. Turn the screw counterclockwise. Push the lowers a bit further onto the upper unit. This will allow you to catch the thread on the spring side. Now tighten the screw on the spring side by hand. Before we are finished, we have to use the torque wrench to apply six newton meters on both sides. Now you can pull the coil springs over the main seals by hand. Inflate air into the spring side and apply your preferred air pressure.
In the last step, we have to screw back on the air valve cap and clean the fork with a soft cloth. Now you're ready to go back on the trails. Take care to follow all the safety instructions of the bike producer and frame maker when mounting your fork. Enjoy your ride.